Islam. If you bring it up as non as a non-Muslim person or someone that's been there, you're a racist or as Islamophobe or bigot. That's what I was called by CARE, the Council of American Islamic Relations. But today, or tonight, I'm going to break down some of what Brother Rashid said, and I'm going to factually paint this picture for you. Because no matter what I say or do, if it's not exactly factual, CARE will always find a way to come back and say, and try to discredit me for what I'm saying. Because the truth is, I'm speaking the truth. I've read the Quran, the Hadiths, the Surahs, 90% of it is violence, and only 10% of it is conciliatory or what some say is peaceful part of the Quran. And if you don't believe me, we've got one here tonight, you're more than welcome to check whatever I put up here on the screen and tell you tonight. So what am I going to cover tonight? I'm going to talk about Islam, what's the difference between Islam and Muslim, and what those really mean. I'm going to talk about Muhammad. The person that had the foresight and, and passed on by mouth his surahs and his, his way of life and, and wrote the Quran. Now I'm going to talk about the threat of ISIS, the Muslim Brotherhood and CARE, which is right here in the state of Oklahoma. Their history and then what we have to worry about today. So what is Islam? The, re the religion of Muslims, it's a monotheistic faith regarded as revealed through Muhammad as the prophet of Allah. And I'm going to cover that in more detail here in a second. So let me ask you, is there a difference between moderate and radical Islam? I say no. Brother Rashid just said no. But when I say it, I get chastised. It's just some white guy out there saying, hey, he's, he's speaking hate and trying to get people to hate us. I'm trying to tell people the truth. But you don't have to believe Representative Bennett. Believe Brother Rashid, which was a Muslim, or I'm going to show you a video here in a second of an actual meeting in a mosque in America with several hundred Muslims. It wasn't staged. It wasn't made up. This was an actual meeting, and they talk about that exact thing. So what is the difference between Islam and Muslim? Islam and Muslim are both words used to describe the religion revealed to the prophet Muhammad. See, Islam and Muslim both have the same origin in the Arabic bird, Salam. Islam is the act of submitting to the will of Allah, whereas a Muslim is a person who participates in the act of submission to Islam. So what's the correct use for it? Is it Islam or Islamic? Those should describe the religion, which is actually a constitution, and its subsequent cultural concepts, whereas Muslim should only describe the followers of the religion of Islam. Like I said before, they said, oh, Representative Bennett, they got on national, on TV. He's a bigot and a racist. Well, if he's an Islamophobe. Well, if I'm an Islamophobe for speaking the truth about his Islam, then you're absolutely right. But I find it hard to believe. How can I be racist against Muslim or Islam when the ethnicity is actually Arab? It's kind of confusing. So King Hussein of Jordan. King Hussein, which says he's a Muslim. There is no moderate Islam. There is no extreme Islam. There is only Islam. That's the King Hussein of Jordan. That's not John Bennett saying that stuff anymore. So let me show you about this actual footage from a mosque here in the United States, and you decide for yourself. 